Hi there, this will just be a quick video um, for situations where you are asked to find the diameter of a circle or the radius of a circle and they give you the circumference of the circle. They give you the distance around the circle. Okay, so <laughs> lovely drawing there, right? I just messed up a perfectly good circle. I apologize. Anyway, what we're going to do today is just figure out how do we figure out the diameter of a circle if they give you the circumference. Okay, so we're not going to be focused on this formula here on area. Nope. We're going to be focused on, well, one person wrote perimeter here. Um, we often say circumference when it comes to circles. And in, I must say, uh, we sometimes use this formula right here. C equals pi times the diameter. That is often the formula that we use for circumference of circles. This also can be used up here. For more info on that, please watch the video prior to this one on um, how to find the circumference or area of a circle. And uh, that would be like part one. So this is going to be a, a, here's a question that we'll do together, and this is like a part two video. What is the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 100 centimeters? Okay, once again, start a question like this with the formula and I tend to put this as my formula you could also use this as your formula just like I was saying before um, in this case we are trying to find the diameter so I'm going to use this formula just because it's convenient that we have the D there already so what we're gonna do is fill in the information with what we know so in the question, um, it says the circumference is 100 centimeters. So I'm going to write the 100 right here. Now pi, we already know from past videos, past experience, that pi is 3.14. It's just a number. And uh, I'm just going to write the 3.14 there. And the d part, the diameter, is the part we don't know. And if you've watched the videos that I have on algebra, how to solve algebraic equations, then what we do remember from those videos is that to get d all by itself here, we do the opposite of what's going on. So it's 3.14 times d. The opposite of that would be to go 3.14 and then divide by 3.14. So divide both sides by 3.14. And when you do that, it's going to get d all by itself because this divided by this is just 1 d is left all by itself and 100 divided by 3.14 will be the answer that we're looking for. Okay, so let's do that right now. 100 divided by 3.14 we're gonna have to round this off because <laughs> look at the answer here 31.847 and so on. Let's round it off to one decimal so it'd be 31.8 so we're just rounding it off to 30 31.8 and th that is centimeters. Okay, now if someone asked you what is the radius, what is the radius of this circle, remember all you do is take the diameter and divide it by 2 and you'll get the radius. Okay, so you'd go 31.8 divided by 2 and that would give us the radius. Okay, 31.8 divided by 2 and our radius would be 15.9. The radius is half of the diameter, 15.9 centimeters. Okay, so that is what you do when you have the circumference given to you and you are supposed to come up with the diameter or the radius. If this video was confusing, make sure you watch the videos prior to this on how to first of all use this formula to find the circumference but um, I suppose that's common sense, you know better, and I recommend checking that video out first before. Okay, have a great day, and I think the next video I'm going to do will be on how to find the diameter or the radius of a circle if they give you the area. Okay, have a great day.